Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Choi. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about my top tips in medical school. Don't forget to hit subscribe below so you can get more updates in the future uh, for my videos like this. And I hope you enjoy this video. Chicago, Illinois, um, and this is my old stopping grounds where I spent a lot of time uh, as a college student in Evanston at Northwestern, and then also in medical school here at the downtown campus for Northwestern as well. I spent a lot of time uh, back here for actually a spine surgery course, did an endoscopy course that I just completed, and now uh, I'm back downtown. I'm actually going to give you guys a little tour of my favorite spots in Chicago and also uh, the medical school. I think I'm going to take a tour of the medical school and maybe share with you some of my favorite memories there. Uh, can't wait to show you guys around. And we're gonna check into our hotel. I'm in the Gold Coast, the Sofa Hotel. free upgrades because I love free upgrades and we got a 24th floor view of the John Hancock building medical school is not easy and there's not a perfect simple formula for anybody uh, just cruising through medical school. Um, there's different different things that work for different people. Uh, this is, these are just some practical things that I think that you can think about. Uh, I've gotten a lot of DMs on Instagram, really, about you know how you know to share my thoughts on med school and how I was able to match the orthopedics and 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 all that jazz. So um, I would say that the uh, first thing about medical school is that it is just a lot of studying and there is just a ton of volume ton of things you have to learn every it feels like you're drinking from a fire hose I think all right we'll turn it on I'm very thirsty I think that's what people say and so uh, time management is so critical in that situation where uh, every every really every day every weekend really counts and so uh, one of the things that can help you with this time management is to really figure out quickly I think early on how you absorb information best so is it using flashcards is it using diagrams I used to make silly pictures uh, on ways to memorize different bacteria and microbiology um, you know, I don't know, like a king holding a sword, uh, chopping off a dragon's head. And somehow that would give me uh, some, um, I don't know, some way to remember. So that was a device, mnemonic device. We need to remember some, some random bacteria. I can't even remember the bacteria now, sorry. But uh, using diagrams, um, question banks, or question banks. Uh, effective ways for you to learn. So I discovered later on in my medical school career that questions really helped me and I wish I had actually learned that early on. Um, I think learned that more towards third year when I was studying for shelves. And I think a lot of people do say that, that questions are very effective in helping um, students remember. I think it just helps you recall very pertinent information and then you go back and look it up. You have to always make sure you go back and do the uh, questions that you got wrong to learn and so anyway it, the whole point being fig figuring out what works best really early on for you will uh, help you tremendously I think because you're gonna be studying a lot in medical school I spent hours and hours in the library if you can absorb that material as quicker it will be better for you I think so 
second thing um, that I uh, would generally recommend about medical school is doing your best to doing your best to stay um, balanced. Um, you are going to be doing a lot of studying, uh, but if you can find outlets uh, to continue to your hobbies, you know, just like one afternoon on the weekends. Um, I think when I was in, uh, when I was a medical student, I did, I went to church on the weekend. It was, um, I was also involved with uh, different activities like uh, American Medical Student Association, uh, where I was uh, working on advocacy for medical students and other you know, public health issues. And those were outlets for me to kind of balance myself at the same time. Uh, build community with other medical students uh, and I exercise quite frequently. I remember I went to the gym, you know, three to four times a week in medical school and uh, you know, clear health, healthy body, clear mind, uh, all those things really help. So finding uh, an outlet to uh, get rid of that stress on the weekends and kind of decompress, uh, come back to the week fresh is so key in medical school. Well, as in, in life, right? Anyone else in out of medicine, um, you've got to be able to decompress uh, to be effective. Even now as a surgeon, um, I have to do that. So. So directly behind me is the Children's Hospital here at Northwestern. It is actually, this did not exist when I was a med student. Right there, this was here, Prentice Women's Hospital. Uh, and I have good memories of being on the ob rotation. One of my favorite uh, memories was actually helping a woman deliver as a med student and doing the counting, breathing. Uh, one, two, you know, counting up to 10 and saying push, uh, really uh, helping her along. And that was an awesome rotation. I just remember. 